Just got a text from my friend Sarah. They are, uh, she and some of her cohorts are flying drones uh, out at a place here in town uh, with 360 cameras and asked if I wanted to come along. Yes, Sarah, yes I do. And don't forget friends, save a turtle. Come on, buddy. Come on. There you go. He probably didn't really need saving out here, but you know, turtle two. Oh. Well, hopefully I took him the right way. Couldn't really tell which direction he was trying to go. Hey guys, uh, I was driving around a bit uh, looking for them and saving some turtles as you saw on the way and actually missed the flight. Uh, but I'm here with my friend Ben and he's gonna tell me a little bit about the contraption that they fly off the bottom of the drone. And here's the rig a little closer up. So it's fitted for the uh, X5R at the moment. Guys, that was a lot of fun. Um, again, I missed Sarah, but uh, Ben was kind enough to uh, get the drone back out and let me fly it. He let me fly it. Oh my gosh. When I went from the Phantom 3 Pro to the Mavic Pro, there was a, I noticed a big difference. Like the Mavic was like tight. It handled just really tight and it was rock solid. Flying the 600, it was like another level. So that was the first time I've ever flown a hexcopter. And so what I fly, what I own are quadcopters. So I've flown the, the Phantom, I started with the Phantom 3 standard and then I got the Phantom 3 Pro. Uh, and then when the Pro ended up in the Missouri River, I got the Mavic. And those are all quadcopters. So they have four propellers or four props. I've also flown the Inspire 2, which is amazing, and um, it was another level of control and, and awesomeness as well. The Hexacopter has even more control than the Inspire, and I, I'm assuming it's because there's six propellers. Uh, and just the way it banks and curves, it was amazing. I, I loved it. And Ben, really appreciate you letting me do that, man. That was so cool. Um, and uh, yeah, hope to connect with you again sometime. Uh, guys, I want to put links to uh, Ben's information down below if you are looking for a pro uh, videographer. But uh, I should say that he is moving into the agricultural world. So he is converting his rig from videography over to an agricultural purpose to do uh, different mappings. And he was talking to me all about it. And it's sounds pretty amazing what he's going to be able to do and there are not a lot of people doing agriculture in Missouri definitely in mid-Missouri uh, so if you have a farm or know uh, of a farmer or a company that would, would benefit from getting their land mapped with all kinds of different types of uh, information I'll, I'll, I'm not gonna try to talk about it because I'm not gonna say it right but again I'll link to his site down below you can learn more information about what he can do and the different types of mapping that he can provide for you. Very, very cool. Yay! Bad luck films! Me, 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 me,